What's up high levelers funnel doc here in today's video I'm going to be going over how to create estimates and proposals inside a high level more importantly how to create multiple and single signature estimates and proposals inside a high level and a lot of times you're going to want multiple signatures on a proposal or an estimate um, because you're going to have either multiple people within a company you need to sign for it or what I like to do is actually have the client signature and then your co-signature on the bottom you know you as the owner or the agency or whatever who's the, who's using this contract or agreement and um, that way it makes it legit for both parties but I'm going to show you how to do all this more inside today's video see you inside what's up everybody funnel doc here so you're going to start off inside your sub account view you're going to go to the menu on the left side here we're going to go underneath payments you're going to hit that tab right there and then what you're going to do is you're going to come in and you're going to then hit estimate proposals and estimates. You're going to hit templates right here. And then you'll come in and create your actual proposal and estimate template. You're going to hit this blue button right here that says new. And then it's going to pop up an actual template for you to use. Now, I would go ahead and name this right away, you know, master template or whatever you want to call it. or whatever you want to call it. And then the other thing is I have my contract already written out here on a Google Doc. So I'm just going to highlight this guy right here and show you how easy this is. Come on. There you go. All the way down. And I would recommend, you know, getting this, yours checked out by a lawyer to make sure everything is legit. Um, but you'll come in. And the first thing I'll do is, first of all, I'll always add in, um, I like to have personally like an icon or an image at the top. So I'll come in here and I'll put like my logo or something like that. Here we'll put the Funnel Doc logo. I'll then shrink it down to like 70, not 275, to like 75 or like 125. And then change the background color into black. So it looks like that. Boom, really quick. You see how easy this is. And then I'll just come in here. And then for this guy, I literally will copy it. I'll go to paragraph here so it looks all the same and paste in. There you go. Bam. Look how easy that is. Look how great it is. And the cool thing is you can use um, your actual custom values to fill in a lot of this stuff. So it will automatically fill in for every client. Now, the next thing I like to do when I'm creating my actual templates is I'll come in and I'll put in the product list right here, which is an itemized list of everything, all the charges. I like to design it this way. The next thing I'll come in is I'll put in the actual um, another text block right before the signatures. I myself have this. And if you like this, we can go ahead. I'll put it down in the description for you. But this is just a, you know, a electronic signature acknowledgement and consent. Basically, they're signing below. So this all goes over everything to sort of make it a little bit more um, all legit. You know what I mean? So here's paragraph. We put that in. We put this bad boy in there. And then after this is when I actually put in the signatures. You're going to put in one signature here. Put in another signature below that. Now, I like to do right here where it says placeholder. You're going to come in and you're going to put client sig. There we go. And then this is the, we'll just put in the front here, the company. Now you can change this to match whatever uh, you would like, company signature. There we go. And then right here, you're going to want to pick who it is, who is the actual signer. Now for this one, because it's a template, um, you're going to want to leave the client one blank. But for your company signature, you are the creator. So you can actually put yourself to be signed. You'll see there it puts you as a signer now and your email accordingly. And then leave this one blank. And then when you ever use a template, you'll be able to add the people to it. And then you'll be able to put their name. This allows for multiple signatures. Now, again, if you had multiple signatures that your client actually needed, you could come in and you could put in one more. And then you could put in, you know, their name if you wanted to under here. Instead, it could be like, you know, Bob signature or whatever the client's name, Bob signature or, or whatever it is. And then what you would do is you would come in is once you've actually set this, you would then save it. Now, to use this template, all you do is you click use template right here. It now makes you another copy of this automatically. And then now you'll see the people icon right here. Now, if you wanted to add someone, what you do is you'd have your primary and secondary client here listed. So we put 
put my name here as secondary. Um, there we go. And then for this guy, we could come in and you could see that I would just come in here and I would list uh, this one. You'll see my support, the different ones here. And then if I wanted to add another person, all I would do is I'd come in here and I'd add more recipient and we'll just call this one. Uh, we'll put my business partner in there. Boom. And then um, I would just change this out to meet Andrew and then change it to Andrew's name right there. So now you see I've got the primary client, I've got the secondary client, and I've got the company signature there. The great thing about doing it this way, it allows to, you to have an, a level of legitimacy that's going to stand up in court. And it shows that all the parties listed on the contract agree with it. And if you need this electronic signature acknowledgement consent, I'll have it down in the description of the video as well. Thanks for watching today's video. Bundle Doc out. Peace.